What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Young Guns Podcast. And obviously today we're going to be covering another trade. Uh, the Edmonton Oilers traded away, well, dumped the contract of Kylo Yamamoto to the Detroit Red Wings and also the signing rights of Clint Costin over to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for future considerations. Now, this video isn't going to be too long just because technically there's no return for the Oilers other than the fact that they clear $3.1 million in cap space. But I wanted to take the time to talk a little bit about these two players. So, Clem Costin was uh, a guy who came into the Edmonton Oilers last year in a trade with uh, with the St. Louis Blues in 2021-22. Uh, he was acquired um, via trade. Um, Oilers get him, use him, and they're like, okay, you know what? Let's see what we can get out of him. And in 57 games with the Edmonton Oilers, he had... 11 goals, 10 assists, 21 points. And in the playoffs, 12 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points. Now, there's been rumors that Clem Costin, um, you know, has apparently talked about going back to the KHL and that there's rumors that he, um, you know, wasn't going to re-sign in Edmonton. Maybe in Detroit they can convince him otherwise, but this is a really good player. I like Clem Costin a lot. I know it didn't work in St. Louis and, it, it, you know, he struggled there, but... He had a really good season in, in Edmonton, all things considered. He was playing on a bottom line role, and he, you know, did really well. Twelve, uh, a plus twelve as well. You know, performed in the playoffs when he needed to. So I think that there's an opportunity here to go to Detroit and likely, you know, play in this really, you know, deep team that they have over in Detroit, and something that you know Steve Eiserman is trying to build in the, you know, in the Detroit Red Wings system. And you've got this guy who. Obviously, there's uncertainty about if he's going to sign. But if he does sign, you know, Daily Faceoff has him slim, not, uh, has him slotted on the fourth line with Joe Valeno and Philip Zadina. I can see that happening. I can even see him on the third line, maybe with Michael Rasmussen. I can see him as a center as well. So I think if Costin does end up signing in Detroit, I think there's a possibility that um, that can happen. I think that it would be a really good spot for him, and I think he would thrive under. Uh, under Lalonde over there in uh, Detroit. Speaking of Kylo Yamamoto, let's just go talk about this really quickly. Yamamoto is a guy that had a lot of promise and a lot of expectation. In 1920, he played 27 games. He had 11 goals, 15 assists, and 26 points. He was injured after that, never really turned back to the same player. In 21-22, uh, 2020-2021, uh, 52 games played, 8 goals, 13 assists, 21 points. So struggled in 2020-2021. Uh, and everyone was like, okay, he only had one point in four games. However, in 21-22, he kind of bounced back. 20 goals, 21 assists, 41 points in 81 games. There was an expectation with Kyle Yamamoto that, okay, he's a 41-point guy. He scored 20 goals for the first time in his NHL career. There's promise here. And then he goes to the playoffs, and in 14 games, has two goals, five assists, seven points. And those are not bad, right? He's averaging half a point a game. So he's a you know he's a 40-point guy, essentially. And he's performing at that level, which, you know what, for, for what Kylo Yamamoto was doing uh, compared to the year before, there was there was that's a positive sign and then this year he kind of you know he earns himself a contract a 3.1 million dollar contract after 2020 2021 has a really good first year that second year is not at its best you know you're talking you're looking at a guy now who struggled again you know did, just couldn't get it going for him 10 goals 15 assists 25 points in 58 games there was injuries involved he was healthy scratched at times too this is a guy that I think is is better than I think his stats have shown, and I think he needed a change of scenery from Edmonton. He goes to Detroit now. There's going to be an opportunity for this guy to play in the top six, and I think there's an opportunity for him to play on that second line with Andrew Kopp and Dominic Kubelik, like Daily Faceoff suggests. And I think that he can turn himself around. This is a guy that scored 20 goals in this league already, right? He's got himself an opportunity now to go to Detroit under a new system and, you know, hopefully hit that stride again. He's a good player. He's a fast player. He's a guy who can put the puck in the net. But he's also a guy that's, you know, got a little bit of skill. And I think Detroit needs a little bit more depth on, in their lineup. And adding two guys like Yamamoto and Kostin who can potentially, you know, add to their depth. But not only that, they didn't have to give up anything to do it. I think it's a really smart business from uh, Steve Eiserman. I like Yamamoto. I think he's going to be a really good, you know, player. And again, listen, if if it doesn't work out, they can always figure it out next year. Maybe Yamamoto goes somewhere else. But I have a feeling that he could turn things around. He's a guy who can be a good third, top nine guy. I think he could be a really good top six guy. He's definitely an NHLer. 
Um, so I think Kyler Yamamoto with a change of scenery is going to thrive in, in Detroit, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. For Clem Costin, I mean, just to repeat what I said before, if he doesn't sign in the KHL, I think he's got an opportunity in Detroit here. Uh, Iserman likes to find gems, um, and I think in this case he found two guys that are still relatively young, both 24 years old. Um, one that was drafted 31st overall in uh, 2017 and the other one that was drafted 22 overall in 2017. Um, I think both guys are, um, you know, two guys that have something to prove. And I think both guys are going to show that in Detroit. I think it's a good move for the Red Wings. And we'll see how those two guys develop. Uh, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this deal. Uh, do you guys like this for Detroit? Do you think picking up Yamamoto is going to help them? Um, and do you think that Yamamoto and Clem Costin, if he signs, uh, are going to th turn their careers around in Detroit? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch our next episode. Thank you very much for watching.